Hello Fly Babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Monday, very exciting, the beginning of a week, and we have a three-layer cake. First layer is our five routines, the number of grace. First routine is, is morning routine for ourselves and our children, you first, then the kids. Second routine is laundry, followed by paper while the laundry's going. One laundry washes itself. Just, it's important that you fold it and put it away. Don't leave it in a pile. Okay, if you're a payroll fly baby, these two items will happen, paper and laundry, or laundry and paper in that order, when you come home today. It's a brand new week. Let's really focus, payroll fly babies. I know what it feels like. I worked for over 40 years. I know what it feels like. Uh, to come home and not want to do this, but you know what reward your little inner self after you do the things They don't take that long and on Saturday You're going to be so happy and every day you're going to feel more in control and more peaceful Okay, so when you come home, you're going to start your laundry go through an inch of paper Next as far as the routines go is our after dinner routine which happens after dinner and then our before bed routine for our children and ourselves Slip, flip it around if you're exhausted and do you first, okay? It's important that you, you know, put the mask on yourself before you put it on the family, as they say on the, air, on the airplanes. It's important. You are the reason that there's going to be peace in your home. And those of you who have experienced this have told me so. And I know so from personal experience. So, you first. Okay, that's not selfish. That's very important. All right, next is we're gonna to go to level two of our three layer cake, and that is our zone. We are going to be doing zone one this week. That's the way I'm doing it. Zone one fell on a sun Saturday, and we weren't working on it Saturday, so we're doing it this week. You may see other people doing it differently. This is how Fly Lady Cat's doing it with you. Zone one, which is the entryway, which is a great time to make the entryway beautiful for Christmas if you're celebrating. So clean it up. Decorate it. This is the week. In 15 minute increments, you can get it all done. Maybe you never get it done. Maybe it's on your bucket list of things to do. So we're gonna be able to do it this week. Yay. Okay, third thing on our three layer cake is our basic weekly plan. It is Monday. Let's get our weekly home blessing hour done. Now, before you freak out, those of you who work, say, I can't do all that in an hour's work, and an hour's worth of weekly home blessing too. Well, maybe you can't. If you don't get off early enough, of course you can't. But you can split it into five days and then do the only thing on Saturday is stripping the bed and washing your sheets. So that leaves you five other things to do. So on one day mop, on one day vacuum, on one day uh, clean the glass, on one day um, dust, and on one day, what did I leave out? What did I leave out? We did the bed on Saturday. Dust, oh, empty the little garbage cans. Or as my friends in Australia say, the bins, the bin, the bins. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so empty your garbage. Um, these little jobs, the baby jobs, the wiping the glass, and that just means wiping the spots off the mirror with a wet microfiber towel and drying it, not the whole thing. Just the way kids can reach is where kids splatter. Um, emptying the little garbage cans and um, dusting with a little fly lady duster, which, you know, don't knock things over, just fluff around. Those are all baby jobs. Kids can do those, delegate those. And big kids, nine or older, can vacuum and they can mop. You just have to show them how and then expect them, and then inspect what you expect, okay? That's the hard part for us. It's letting go and inspecting what we expect and not expecting perfection, but do that. So take it and split it up over the week, and then you'll have a much easier week, and your house will look pretty and clean, because after you do a weekly home blessing hour, those of you who are at-home fly, fly babies, after you do your weekly home blessing hour, the house looks awesome. It almost looks like a maid's been there. And it's amazing because you didn't deep clean. You did not. It is just cleaning in the traffic areas, basically. Okay? All right. So that's Monday for you. That's it. Now, I want you to use your planner. I want you to do three checks, clutter checks a day, in the morning, in the afternoon, and after the evening is, or, or toward the end of the evening. Three clutter checks will keep that clutter down. Remember again that it is not something that you are being critical about when you find clutter in your newly decluttered area. And those are the areas that you're going to protect 
like a little bulldog, right? You're gonna protect those areas like they're just delicate. <laughs> and you're gonna say, uh-oh, uh-oh, look what mama did. I left my purse on my nice clean counter because you've told everybody, look y'all, come look with me, look at this counter, yeah, whatever. Okay, don't, it doesn't matter. You make a big deal about it. Look, it's beautiful and it means a lot to me. And I'm so excited. And then you can say, oh no, look what I did. I laid the Walmart bag there. I left my dog leash there. And I left my purse there. I'm going to clean that up. And you know what else is here? And I see somewhere else. Your shoes. Mm -hmm. And your book bag or your backpack or whatever. And you make it fun. You don't make it critical, right? Let's all pick up after ourselves. We have such bad habits. But we're going to have good habits because we're a great family and we can do this. And that's how you do it. Clutter checks three times a day will keep those areas from becoming reinfected with clutter. And I like to think of it that way. It's like protecting it from the infection of clutter. <laughs> All right. And then the other thing, again, is inspecting what you expect on those jobs you expect them to do. You've delegated those jobs that have consequences if they choose not to do it. Those. That's what you inspect. And then you do your own things. All right. That's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous day. And always remember that you are... Beautiful.